Dave, maybe just address the, you know, the challenge tonight with a team that's this deep and, and play the way that they do, obviously the defending champs, and, and how big a challenge it is for your group right now. Well, anytime you play the, the defending champs, there's a little more aura around the game. And, you know, I know their team well. I know their general manager well. I know their coaching staff well. They're, they're a team that's, uh, when you win like that, you look like you play with confidence. Like you look at their whole group right through the lineup. They look like they play with confidence. They know they're a good team. So you have to go out and make sure that, A, your work ethic's in place, the details of the game are in place, because you know the other team's going to have them. So uh, it's a good challenge for us. For us. I, I want to see you go out and see how we play. We've got some players that can play better than they have been. Um, you know, it's about going out and putting the work in and finding a way to find a, a win against a good team. Does it, they have a bigger defense than a lot of other teams do. They don't have a lot of 175 pound defensemen. Yeah, their 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 D is a deep D. You know, like they they got. You know, that, that's that's a big part of their big part of their group. But big guys that play the game the right way. You know, and they're. It's not just having one or two of them. They got five or six of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Haas looks like he's getting a lot more comfortable. His yeah. speed is being noticeable. Is that just him yeah. maybe figuring out the game and now he can use his speed more to his advantage? Yeah, I think it's more just, I mean, he's got his attributes or speed. He can he can make plays. He's a smart, smart player. Like if you watch him on videotape, he's, he's in the right positions a lot of time. But He's another one of these guys, like we talked a little bit about Pearson yesterday. I mean, he's never played on, on this side, never played with the intensity and strength of it in a league like this before. So it takes some time to get used to it. But I give him credit. Like, he's every day he's working at it. He's, uh, he's watching a lot of video. I mean, he's, he went down, for, down to Bakersfield and played a couple games. Uh, originally, he had been scheduled to play a few more down there, and, and we needed him because of the injury. But he's come back and... He's uh, every day he gets a little better, so that's a, that's a good sign. We'll see where it goes with him, but he's uh, it's good to see him get on the scoreboard the other night. That gives him a little bit of confidence, but he's, he's a pretty good player, pretty smart player. The strength of bigger, big NHL players, what he has to work on. I noticed a couple of times he gets knocked down. He says, "How'd that happen?" Yeah, no, I think that's that's part of it, and you just you learn how to deal with that, and it's it's learning how to deal with a little more physical game, and some of it is just the awareness of people are going to hit you over here you know when you play on the big ice there's less hitting there's a lot of angling and you you know you lean on each other but you don't hit each other so that's uh that's an area here where things get condensed you got bodies that are pushing maybe a little bit harder than they would over there and that's that's part of the learning process for him yeah a little bit yeah yeah he's good you know, we've uh, we've tinkered with him a little bit on the power play but i think they're uh, there will be some some PK in him too. He's a smart player, and we've got some other players doing that here. And and you got to be careful a little bit not to not to overload them too much. Let them grow, a uh, player in that situation. But he's he's doing all right so far. Yeah, with uh, with Ethan Bear, maybe the quality in his game when he's under fire in his own end and has the puck on his stick, there seems to be an extra second that he can find sometimes. Can you maybe just address that quality and? In a young defenseman, how, how important, rare that is? It's, it's important in today's game. Puck poise back there, the ability to make a play rather than just uh, punt it or you know jam it up the wall. is That's that's a good ability for a young defenseman to have. You got, anytime you can come out of your zone with possession or find a guy that's open, it's, it allows you to play with a puck more. So he's, uh, you know, he's played a couple of years in the American League. He's We've talked about him a lot this year. He's come in and... He's won this job, and, and part of it is he's kind of a today's defenseman where he, he can defend, he reads situations well, but he moves the puck well. And sometimes that's under pressure, which those are the ones you really notice when he, you know, when he finds, creates time for himself to make a good play, and that's, he's done a good job of it so far this year. Is Shahan close to coming in tonight? Yeah, he's probably not going to come in tonight, but he's certainly close. You said a couple times in the preseason that ideally in the bottom six you'd have a quick line and a heavier line. You know, 16 games in, how satisfied or dissatisfied are you with? I think injuries that? have taken a toll a little bit on that. You look at the two guys that are out right now, or two of the guys that are out, Nygaard and Archibald are both quick players. You know, they uh, they add some quickness to our lineup. So, um, you know, we'll see where it goes when those two come back. But um, you know, our our fourth line. Whether it was Sheehan and uh, Russell and JJ, or 
Now Cody Caves come in and played. Uh, Kobe Caves come in and played real well. You know, so we've got we've got some strength down there. But we're as Haas comes along, we'll see where these other players come in. We'll hopefully add a little quickness to the lineup there. Dave, your show might be your second fastest skater. We've seen glimpses of his speed. What have you seen in his 11 games that you like, and what more do you want to see from him tonight? Glimpses is a good good way to put it. Like there's been some times when we've liked him in there, and there's other times when there's not much happening. So he'll get uh, he'll get an opportunity tonight here. I want to see. Uh, He's been out a couple games. He should be hungry to play. We'll see how it goes tonight. Is that the story of his NHL career? I mean, he's had a tough time getting regular work because he looks yeah. like a player, but then... Yeah. I mean, you've yeah, pulled, we'll, you've we'll see. I don't, I don't like to go too much on history, but going on, on results from this year, but that's kind of how it's gone for him a little bit. Dave Smith to start tonight? Smith will start tonight, yeah. Dave, when you, you've got Connor and Neil on the is it imperative also that you have a second... Group that can at least create pressure to, so they're just not out there for 45 seconds until the other guys come up. Yeah, we're we're working on that, you know. Like there's you need that's a faster when you're say with with Nuge, uh, in, you know, possibly in a three on three. Possibly, yeah, possibly. We'll see how it goes. Like I, ideally, you know, Connor and uh, and Leon play a big part of it. I'd, ideally, I'd like to get to the point where we have three groups, three sets of forwards. So. We'll see where that goes. Have you talked to him about nobody? There's no external pressure from anybody saying, "Hey, you got to score goals." It must all be within him. After 22 last year, he's thinking, "Oh, I got to score." Yeah, I think he's pressing a little bit. You know, it's, he'd like to. He's one of those guys you'd like to get him on the board and see if we can get him going a little bit. But there's been lots of talk. But we, you know, uh, we got to, we got to. It's got you know, we got to find some results too. Dave, can you talk a little bit about a guy who? Just quietly, he's had a really solid year. You've kept him in one spot in Matt Benning, but what have you liked about his game, and why are you really comfortable with him just as your third pair right now? He's just a steady guy, you know. He, uh, you know, he just, he just, he's consistent. He's uh, moves the puck all right, you know. He just, he competes hard. He's, he's just a guy that's really, you know, that's his niche on our team, and he's done a good job there, you know, and. Uh, just a steady guy, a reliable guy in that position. Some people over plus minus as a coach, right? the goal is to outscore the opposition, right? Or, and so when you're on the ice, it doesn't necessarily mean, but he's always been a plus player and on a team that's given up a lot of goals. This year they're not, but he's again right up there in your team. Yeah. Can, I'm, not big, I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of NH, NHL plus minus, so that's sometimes when they're really out of whack one way or the other, you can you can take something out of it, but I'm not a big fan of NHL plus minus, to tell you the truth. Okay. What did you look at five on five from just that one specific? I have one? my own system that I look at and gauge it off that. What can you go into that a little bit? bit? Can you go no. into what that system is? Is it just more like it's it's a lot of it's done on scoring chances for and against. Okay. All the scoring chances that happen, not just the goals. I, I put in my years as as a mustache guy for about 25, so I'm, I feel like I'm I'm past that now. <laughs>